What is going on, Governor? It's just cool here, and today we're gonna share with you Solimar's reaction to getting 100% zeroed, something like $200,000 worth of his troops killed. And these were his first words. <laughs> if you like Rise of Kingdoms videos where we show you the craziest, the most amazing stuff that is happening in this game, you should like and subscribe because we will always cover that here. And we are a sponsored creator with Rise of Kingdoms. My friends, what were Solimar's first words when he discovered that his 400 million power account had been reduced to 53 million card up in the top if you want to see that happen i'll have actually two cards one is the start of all that craziness and then the second part is a live stream insane insane um i checked with king of armenia to say like how much would it really cost to get to that level of power and he was he had no doubt that like two hundred thousand dollars sounds about right for that amount might even be low um other players have confirmed they feel that's about right as well so what's his reaction when he comes online, what's his reaction? I'm going to put it up on the screen. Was too busy at work, unfortunately. Oh, well, I'm sure it was epic. $200,000. He wasn't even there for it. I'm sure it was epic. Oh, this is where I need an editor to drop in like the MLG sunglasses to be like do 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 do. Oh my goodness, ultimate honey badger. So, people ask, is Solimar gonna quit? And he's already back up to sixty million power, and I'm sure he'll go even higher. Uh, I'm told, and I don't know if this is true or not actually, because I don't have the the real screenshot. But I'm told he said uh, that he'll train his troops back up when t6 become available <laughs> we'll see <laughs> we'll see he's probably not going anywhere and i'm looking forward to playing with him in Ark of osiris league i'm sure he'll train up plenty of troops to be quite effective on the battlefield for that love it this is going to be fun this is this is going to be fun by the way another thing we can address and there were a ton of comments about like why didn't you help solomar why like why do you all let him get zeroed? Um, we had been sending Alliance messages for like a week. No kidding. Like three days before the pass opened and then for multiple days after the pass had opened that like you got to go back. Everybody's got to go back to Kingdom 39. Um, we made that call a while ago. And like you've got to play your own account, right? Like you've got to play your own account. Also, um, like – you kind of got to help yourself a little bit too. Like I will go way out of my way to help someone who has put themselves on the front line. And like, for instance, if King of Armenia, okay, if King of Armenia was in trouble somehow, right? Like I'd use every resource I had to try to help the dude. But but that's not the situation here. Um, that's not the situation here. Uh, Solomar has got some really powerful commanders. It's going to be really awesome to be playing Ark of Osiris League with him. He, in my perfect world, would have set up his garrison to be, like, really fantastic, right? Like, that's a situation where I could run my troops into his city and feel really good about their dying because if he had his expertise Constantine with expertise Yi Song Ye, like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go way out of my way even though it's near, it would have been honestly impossible. I still would have gone way out of my way to get archers into that city because, dude, he would have been slaying. It would have been insane. But that, this was not the situation, right? Like, Freddy Caesar is just so bad on the wall. It's so bad. Like, it's, it's so bad. Like, it's hard to... Anyways, it's really bad. It was a really bad situation. Like, even Caesar's second skill is not even activated for a lot of it like they they rallied him and then they canceled the rally the first one before the second part of this could even spend a lot of time triggering right like he has to be b reduced below 60 percent of units which uh, i'm just saying like this combo because of the skill over here this is not very good in fact it does nothing this skill does nothing this skill is fine but like there's no aoe here Freddy, there's this is skill does nothing. This skill does nothing. It's just you gotta help yourself. 
for it to be reasonable to expect other people will go spend like like I don't know how many thousands of dollars worth of resources and speed ups should we have spent to try to help Solomar? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird that's a weird call. I know King of Armenia tried and he made the call that it was just impossible. Right? Like King of Armenia tried and he said it was possible. Okay? That's all he said it was impossible. That's all I'm going to say about that, all right? So that's why Tigers weren't just, like, throwing themselves to die to try to help Solimar, if that context helps. What I want to do now is go in and rock this Wheel of Fortune. Edward's on the wheel. We definitely are going to spin 60 times. We're going to spin beyond the number of times that... It takes to max out this chest, which would give you full value. And the reason we're spinning this insane number of times, and this is honestly kind of insane, is that we are also spending down in the VIP shop and buying all the sculptures here, um, which we'll do at the end of the week in case there's a more than gems event. We'll wait around for that. So since we're spending so out of control, um, this is better value. Even spinning beyond 100 is better value than buying these. So we, if you're prioritizing just like insane, crazy amounts of spend, start by max spinning the wheel. Then later you'd go in and, and pick up these VIP sculptures. So let's go in and rock this out. Also, P.S. Shamelessly, I'm going to go and get my Dauntless Lohar on because, of course, we want this gear. We have been working so hard on gear. Um, anyways, let's go in and spin the wheel. Wheel of Fortune. We're going to spend 60 spins worth. Let's start with the 50% off spin, and we'll keep a count of the number of legendary commander sculptures we get. We'll kick this thing off with some training speed ups, and now the fun begins in full. The fun begins in full. Here we go. We got these speed ups rolling. Some stars, some gold, some wood. How about some legendary commander sculptures? Okay. No legendary commander sculptures to start. Big fat donut continuing on. We've got more stars. I'm really happy about the stars. There's a lot of commanders I want to invest in, so that seems great to me. Um, geez. One legendary commander sculpture. We're on the board. And now two. Two legendary commander sculptures. You see how fast that was? And at level 70 of this chest, we get another 10 sculptures. But we're only going to count the two towards our total for the purposes of doing this math. Here we go again. Three legendary commander sculptures. Man, the wheel is just loving on me today. The wheel is just loving on me. Four legendary commander sculptures. Feels good. And the 45 hours of speed ups. Excellent. Excellent. Four legendary commander sculptures doing great on our spin so far. Let's keep it going. We got some food and some 45 hours of speed ups. Love it. Um, five legendary commander sculptures. Are we on five? Now six legendary commander sculptures? Seems good. I think we're on six. We might be on seven. So let's just go with six. I mean, the value is just so good. It doesn't even matter. Up to six sculptures. Oh, I thought we were going to get our seventh there. Six sculptures, 44 hours of speed-ups again. Now seven sculptures. Nice. Research speed-ups we don't need. And the gold we'll take. We definitely need gold. So we're up to seven legendary commander sculptures, and we are just going to keep these spins going. We're now getting two more stars. Excellent. Two more stars after that. Two more stars after that. And 45, dude, the speed-ups are amazing. Another 45 hours of speed-ups. So I feel fine about this spin. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't horrible either. Love it. Let's keep it going. Seven legendary commander heads so far. Not as good. There's eight legendary commander heads. Not quite as good as how we were doing yesterday. Did we just get 45 minutes or 45 hours of speed-ups again? Did we just get that again? Holy jeez. We're really winning the lottery on that speed-up game. We're definitely winning the lottery on the speed-up game. Nice. Another legendary commander head? Yes, please. We're doing it, fam. Another one. Boom. <laughs> oh, do we get the 45? What do we get for speed-ups? Okay, just the eight hour. Eight hours of research speed-ups. We don't really need that. That's fine. Now we can claim... 
a solid 15 sculptures of Edward of Woodstock. Fantastic. Fantastic. We have 20 more spins to go. These are the ones that are completely above and beyond what we needed. Look at that. One legendary commander sculpture already. Double stars is amazing. The building speed ups are less exciting. Two legendary commander sculptures worth the gems by far. By far. Let's spin this sucker again. Beyond, above and beyond. There's the third legendary commander sculpture, above and beyond. Amazing. Amazing. Fourth legendary commander sculpture, above and beyond. Fifth legendary commander sculpture, above and beyond. I mean, we're in it to win it. We are in it to win it. We got a couple more spins to go here. What do we got? Uh, stone. Stone's good. Building speed ups are cool. There's another legendary commander sculpture. There's six, right? Six legendary commander sculptures. I mean, like I said, you see why this is better than just buying them straight up in the VIP shop, assuming that this is a commander that you actually wanted. We've got five more spins to go here. How is this looking? We've got stone, which I'm good with. Another legendary commander sculpture. Really solid. Really solid. The only thing that can make this better is hitting the eight spot. Oh, we got close. We were right next to it, I think, on both sides. Oh, well, the building speed up side twice, actually. Cool. Okay. Now we can go check out our Edward of Blackwater. It's a pretty fast way to burn through a lot of gems, by the way. Holy jeez. 50,000 gems. Um, and let's go in. Take a look at his skills. We're very close be to being able to do another skill here, and we're up to 507 universals. This is pretty good. I don't know what we're going to do with those universals yet, but uh, it's going to be spicy. Whatever it is, it's going to be spicy. Few more sculptures to go here, and we'll put another skill on him. And, you know, we're going to try to get as far as we can with this commander just from wheels before we put a single universal on him. The only reason we change that around is if, like, we're in the grand finale of the Ark of Osiris League and, like, this commander is considered to be the Alpha and Omega, then maybe we go do it. Then, then maybe, and then only do we consider that. So, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If I have a chance to actually talk with Solomar, I'll let you know what he has to say, um, what he's thinking, what he's feeling. I'm pretty sure that uh, this mainstay of the Rise of Kingdoms community is uh, not going anywhere. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.